Innovation doesn't stand still, so why should we? Alcon Lighting, architectural, energy efficient luminaires. Today, we are going to talk about flicker and LED luminaires and why it is important for your project. In this video, we're going to cover four things. One, why people care about flicker. Two, why LED luminaires make this an important issue. Three, why the LED power supply is a key factor in whether your luminaire will exhibit flicker or not. And four, how to properly specify an LED power supply for your project. Why is Flickr important to your customers and your project? For an average observer, Flickr is often perceived as an annoyance or a distraction. However, there is an at-risk group in our population that may include people with autism, people subject to epilepsy, children, and people who may suffer migraines, where Flickr may be related to serious health issues. What is the definition of flicker? The U.S. Department of Energy defines flicker as the modulation of light over a period of time. The U.S. Department of Energy also points out that all light sources exhibit some degree of flicker. Let's talk about why LEDs have brought the issue of flicker back to the forefront. Different than other light sources, LEDs turn on and off extremely rapidly. If this happens at a frequency you can perceive, you will have a strobe effect. This potential of having a strobe effect is why selection of the LED power supply is so important. You'll want to know that LED power supplies dim in two different methods. One is called a constant current reduction, or CCR. The other method is called pulse width modulation, or PWM. Let's use an analogy of water in a garden hose to understand the difference between these two supplies. CCR is similar to adjusting the water flow in a garden hose with a faucet. As you turn the faucet, the water flow is uniformly adjusted down or upward. In a similar manner, a CCR dims an LED luminaire by uniformly adjusting the current upward or downward. PWM dims differently. PWM is similar to a garden hose that can only flow full on or full off. In your mind's eye, imagine you have a kink in the garden hose that either stops the flow of water or allows it fully to come on. As you pulse that kink on and off, you adjust the flow of water through the hose. This is similar to the way PWM adjusts the flow of electrons to the LEDs. You may have noticed that CCR and PWM power supplies drive LEDs in a similar manner when full on. Their differences only become apparent when dimmed. Observing an LED power supply under full light output may not expose you to objectionable flicker. This may occur, however, when the LED luminaire is dimmed. At what point does flicker transition from noticeable to objectionable. Unfortunately, no national standards exist to help us set this point. There is, however, a study that better helps us understand this issue. It was prepared by the Lighting Research Center as part of their ASSIST program. The ASSIST program outlines four ways to check for flicker in LED power supplies. 
First, we can use a waveform analyzer to observe the exact wave shape of the electrical signal from the LED dimming power supply to the LED array. Here are critical factors to look for. Find and record the peak drive current coming from the LED power supply to the LED. Then find the minimum drive current, especially at various dimming levels. Next, find the average light output in the cycle. This value is needed to calculate the flicker index outlined in the assist report. Pay close attention to the shape of the drive current. This relates to how the LED is actually turning on and off during each cycle. If the waveform bounces off at the peak or the bottom, the bounce may be sufficient to create a strobe effect and contribute to objectionable flicker. Record the frequency of current pulses reaching the LEDs. Research has shown that pulses in the range of 120 cycles per second may be perceived as significant flicker. Let's take a moment to summarize our findings. PWM LED power supplies may not exhibit flicker at 100% light output, but when dimmed, objectionable flicker may become apparent. This is generally not the case with CCR LED power supplies. If you don't have access to a waveform analyzer, a second way to check for flicker is to use a flicker checker wheel. When you spin a flicker checker wheel, the spinning pattern of light and dark shapes makes a strobe effect from the luminaire more apparent. Let's take a look at the patterns that emerge from an LED light source driven by a dimmed PWM LED supply and a dimmed CCR LED power supply. You'll notice that the wheel on the left that has a CCR power supply tends to have constant concentric circles. This is a sign of a luminaire that has little flicker. The spinning wheel on the right has clearly chopped up segments. You're seeing the strobe effect. This is perceived as flicker. A third way to check for flicker is by waving a pencil or a long rod under the light source to see if there are multiple images. The fourth and best way to look for flicker is to mock up the space with all sources and dimmers and experience it in the real world. We hope this video has helped you understand that flicker is important for your project. Properly specifying LED power supplies is one of the many ways you can help ensure quality lighting and a healthier environment for your customer. In summary, mock up the space with the finishings and luminaires. If you can do that, it's really the best. Ask your manufacturer what LED power supply they're using. And of course, when you're dealing with LED luminaires, pick your partners carefully. If you have questions or want to explore Flickr in more depth, feel free to contact your Fine Light sales representative for additional support. Alcon Lighting, a market-leading distributor of commercial and architectural LED lighting.